As we said, the war against coronavirus has changed. It's the new alarming message within the CDC tonight as the Delta variant threatens even vaccinated people. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan takes us to a vaccine clinic here where the latest surge is leading to renewed interest in shots. That's not the line for the butcher. It's for a vaccine at Green Hills Farms. Isabella Whitehead from Phoenix, eligible just this month when she turned 12 years old. The youngest age approved. I always get jittery before shots, but afterwards, it's like, it's a piece of cake and it's super fast. I think that it's going to hurt, but it doesn't. It's only a small pinch. She's an inspiration to reluctant adults, eligible for months, but finally going for it. I always thought I didn't need a vaccine. I never had gotten a flu shot, and I, I don't know, I don't really get sick, hardly ever, so I didn't think I'd be sick. And I just thought, well, people are getting it and asking me, you know, why haven't you gotten it? I'm just tired of t ask, answering questions. Better late than never. In a presentation of slides not designed for the public, but published by the Washington Post, the CDC instructs its staff to, quote, acknowledge the war has changed, describing the Delta strain as highly contagious, likely more severe, and warning that breakthrough infections, meaning those vaccinated being exposed, may be as transmissible as unvaccinated cases. The CDC is balancing the realization that vaccination won't guarantee flawless immunity with data showing it's still Still overwhelmingly effective. See these three graphs. The chance of getting sick is reduced eightfold by the shot, and hospitalization or death is 25 times less likely for those who are vaccinated. You tell them, um, you tell them proud of them. She's proud of you. Thank you. You got a fan club. <laughs> Isabella turned out to be one of 34 people who got their vaccine today. That doesn't sound like a lot, remembering the large clinics a few months back, but considering the downtown clinic at the Civic Center every week gets about five people, 34 is a pretty impressive number. The county will offer another one next week at Empire Farm Days in Pompey on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. No appointments are necessary. People can walk right in. Outside of Green Hills Farm, Sandra Donovan, News Channel 9.